Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. It is time for our weekly Tarot and Astrology reading. And today's date is November the 26th of 2017. And I do hope that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. I know we did. We spent some time with family, some quality time. Very nice, very relaxing. And I'm uh, just looking forward to the rest of the holiday season. So without further delay, let's take a look and see what the Tarot has to say to us this week. Okay, as usual, I have drawn three tarot trumps from the Tarot de Marseille. And these are going to come up on the screen in a moment and cover my face. And the cards that we have for this week are the Chariot, the Empress, and the Fool. Now this is very interesting. If we look closely, we see that the charioteer, the driver of the chariot, is looking towards the left. He's looking towards the past. And so are the horses. It's as if they want to veer towards that direction. Now the Empress, she doesn't want anything to do with that. She's not looking that direction. She's looking the other way. And she even has her shield up at her side to protect herself against being drawn into the backwards looking energy of the chariot. So she is ruling and she's saying, no, I'm looking towards the future. I'm inclined to want to rule towards the future and look towards the future for my direction and for where I'm supposed to go. So ultimately, that's what she does. Her scepter turns into a stick with a bang on it and she trudges along, her shield becomes a walking stick, all right, which is also interesting. So instead of shielding, and instead of so much ruling, it's a matter of saying, okay, I'm going to go ahead and follow a straight path, a straight line, two straight lines, walking stick, and the stick that she carries her possessions, he carries his possessions on, okay, our fool, and it's like, we're going to go ahead and follow a straight path, and his head is up, so it's like he's looking towards higher things. So that's what this is saying. This is saying to us, don't look to the past. It's easy to do that and on the holidays. It's really easy to get kind of morose, maybe bitter, however you want to say it, you know, thinking about things that have passed in previous holidays. Maybe we've lost loved ones. I know I lost my mom in mid-December 10 years ago this coming December, the December 15th. So, of course, my thoughts tend to go back to that. But we don't want to dwell on that. We want to go ahead and move forward. And if we do that, we really can have a more exciting and more interesting time this holidays, which is going to be supported by our main minor arcana cards, as you're going to see. That's right, I pulled two minor arcana cards, as I always do, to give us more practical advice. And what I come up with is the Seven of Swords and the Two of Coins, or for Rider Waite, Pentacles. Now, Seven of Swords, or Seven of Spades in playing cards, same thing, is basically sadness, tears, trying to push against resistance, but really, really making a very strenuous effort to do that. And it's like we don't really have to go there. We don't have to make things harder. With the Two of Coins, what we're doing is engaging. We're rolling forward and we're engaging with other people. Maybe a lively conversation, intellectual exchange, of course, exchanging money, that's also an aspect of two of coins or two of diamonds in playing cards. So we're, we're trading back and forth. We're getting involved in our shopping. Don't overdo it, but we got to do that, okay? You know, we're having some fun. We're talking to people. We're interacting. So we're rolling forward with the energy. Instead of getting stuck in the past and, and things that are painful, we don't need to go there. This is a time for joy, a time for happiness, a time for freedom as we celebrate together the holiday season. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at astrology. What's coming up this week? Well, again, not an awful lot. Really, not not a lot, lot. Uh, a couple of things interesting. For one thing, the moon will be in Taurus on this coming Friday. And that's a nice thing now, because Friday is Venus Day. Taurus is ruled by Venus. The moon is exalted in Taurus. So this is a good time for attraction magic. If you're looking for a partner, okay, looking for love life, this is a good time for spells, ritual magic to do this. Okay, anything maybe dealing with personal income to a degree, Venus can rule that as well, would also be blessed in doing perhaps a ritual or meditation, whatever you do on this coming Friday. And then the other event that's coming up is we are going to have full moon on Sunday, and we are also going to have Mercury retrograde. <laughs> yes, that comes up. Mercury is going to go retrograde. And it's going to be in retrograde until the 22nd of December. Now, this isn't a time of disaster, but it is a time when we are careful about signing contracts, making very long-term commitments. We want to be cautious. Sometimes we can't avoid it, but we need to look at the detail because the devil is in the details. And a Mercury retrograde can be characterized as a bit of fuzzy logic or fuzzy thinking. So we do want to be careful about what we do. Other than that, enjoy your shopping, enjoy your holidays, and know that it can be a joyous time. Well, there you go. There's your weekly reading. I really appreciate your support in watching this. Thank you so much. Until I see you next week, many, many blessings.